American news, I'm Dave from PlayHarden.com. You can go to PlayHarden.com slash shop for all your Harden equipment needs. In this episode, we're taking a look at what happened in January and February of 2023. In new club news, there are three new clubs to shout out. In North Carolina, Red Wolves Hurling Club was started by former players of Charlotte GA. There are now two hurling clubs in Charlotte, North Carolina. In the collegiate scene, there's now a hurling team at the University of Georgia. In New York, the Galway Hurling Club has returned. They took a couple years hiatus, but now they're back in the city and looking for new players. Go show your support for these new clubs. I'll leave a link to all their details below. If you're new to Hurling or Komogi, go to playhurling.com clubs to find one of the 180 clubs near you. For the first time since 2006, New York GA sent a Hurden team to compete in Ireland in the Connacht Senior Hurden League. New York won their first match against Longford and went on to become Shield champions. This is a huge deal for an American based club to be competing in Ireland at this level. In Florida, Tampa Bay GA hosted the first Hurden tournament of 2023, the Suncoast Sevens. Nine Hurden clubs competed in a seven aside tournament and the weekend started off with a puck around on the beach. Congrats to Atlanta GA who won in a close final against Knoxville GAC. One of the Tampa players works at a local brewery and introduced a new beer at the event called the Risty Hurler. The name was voted on by the tournament's attendees. In New York, Rock City Gaelic hosted an indoor sevens hurling tournament with teams from across New York State and Ohio competing. Congrats to Rochester for winning the tournament. In Nevada, the NCGA hosted a fundraiser over 40s hurling tournament in Las Vegas called the Needs That Crack. Nine teams were formed by region and proceeds from this tournament went to fund college hurling teams across the US. In feel good news, Augusta Gaelic Sports Club reached out to us to gift Hawaii Hurling Club a few dozen customized slitters. The founder of the Augusta team, Christopher, saw that Hawaii were an up and coming team and sent him this presence as a way to encourage him to keep up the effort. Here's a video of the Hawaii Hurling Club's reaction to receiving the custom slitters. Slitters. Not only slitters, custom slitters for the Hawaii Hurling team. And I can't even believe the generosity of the Augusta team and thank you so much to um, David from Play Hurling for basically setting it up and being a part of it. This video's photo de monte goes to two clubs, Cleveland Snowman Hurler with a play hurling sitter, and to the New Hampshire Rolls for their nostalgic Back to the Future hurling post to promote the start of their indoor hurling league. The video de monte goes to Philadelphia GAA for their appearance on the Preston and Steve radio show where they talk to all things hurling and camogie. And Nod Torig is bringing the Irish sports of hurling and camogie to the Philadelphia area. We got an invitation to come out and practice our game with us. I'd like to see it. I, I want them to bring the game here. <laughs> so I like camogie. I I, th I think it's a cool game. It's yeah. very it's very reminiscent to lacrosse. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the sticks they use are cool. I actually have a hurling stick at home. <laughs> Here are some upcoming North American Hurling tournaments happening in March. On March 4th, Charleston Hurling Club will be hosting the second annual Irish Fest Camden Cup in South Carolina. On March 17th, the fourth annual Butte St. Patrick's Day Hurling Match will be held at Montana Tech. On March 25th, Savannah GA will be hosting the Hostess City Hooli Hurling Tournament in Savannah, Georgia. From March 25th to 26th, the NCGA will be hosting the National College Hurling Championships in Louisville, Kentucky. To find these tournaments and more, go to playhurling.com slash events. And that's it for this episode of Hurling North American News. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need any Hurling equipment, go to playhurling.com shop for hurls, helmets, slitters, and anything else you may need. And I'll see you guys in the next video.